Canon PowerShot G7X Mark III. Is this camera still relevant in 2021? Let's find out. Hey guys, welcome back to another video channel. It's your boy Lee Miguel Chief and here okay, super excited to have you back in yet another video. In today's video, we're talking about the Canon PowerShot G7X Mark III. This camera came out in August 2019 and it is 2021 and there have been a lot of fantastic cameras in the market. The question now is, is it still worth it? Is it still something you might consider buying? Well, you're about to find out. First and foremost, I'd like to say that this camera is an absolutely fantastic camera. It's a one inch sensor camera, but still, um, it's a fantastic camera based on the specs. Based on the specs alone, and then the real world reviews that I have seen, I think I can say that based on all that, this camera can fly. Quick rundown of the spec sheet. We have 20 megapixels, one inch dark CMOS sensor. Please take note of that feature. Uh, the lens is an equivalent of 24 to 100 millimeters and it is uh, f1.8 to f2.8 um, it has built in it has a built in three stop nd filter uh, touch screen tilts up to 180 and down 90 degrees 8 frames per second boss shooting and autofocus with autofocus it has 30 frames per second raw boss mode you get 4K at 30p, 1080p at 60p video recording you have a microphone socket it also allows you to stream live to YouTube uh, you get vert vertical video capture like you know in the f like smartphone mode uh, for shooting shots and stuff like that then you also get slow-mo 120p with uh, 1080p which is really good uh, Wi-Fi Bluetooth USB 3.1 and uh, yeah all the great stuff uh, you know you find on cameras now really this spec sheet you can tell that this camera is fantastic there's no there are no two ways about it there's no confusion is if it's a good camera or not but we've had a lot of good cameras come out like i said at the beginning we've had a lot of good cameras come out between 2019 and 2021 so is this camera still relevant the simple answer is yes i mean currently with all the new cameras coming out you know that there will be a price drop in most of the older cameras and technology wise this camera still fights most of some of the big names uh considering that it does 4k at 30p and you also get slow-mo that's not something you see all the time a quick disclaimer um this camera might not be the best for cinematic stuff it will do that but if you are looking for cinematic level stuff, then you might have to spend more money. However, however, something that does 4K, does 1080p, um, at the right frame rates, I think it's a camera that can fly this year, especially for people who are starting off YouTube or people who do more vlogging. In my last video, I talked about the Sony A1, and the Sony A1 is a full frame camera, but it does not have a flip out screen. But this one does flip out um, up and down 180 and 90 respectively. And um, thinking about it, I think you will still have to, if you are somebody who does more vlogging, you travel a lot, you are at family gatherings a lot, and you have interest in photography or videography, I think this is the kind of camera you want to pack in your purse. Yeah, it's small enough to go into your purse. That's another big advantage. It's a small camera that does what you want and even more. So what's the conclusion? Yes, the camera is a wonderful one to have a turn one if you have the money. It's about, it costs, right now, it's about $650 to $750. And compare it to the price of something like the A7C, which is said to have been directed for vloggers. Um, if you do not need full frame video, if you do not need 45 megapixels, if you do not need I don't know 8k video if you're just you know a regular youtuber and um you just need something to give you quality videos with the right kind of setting hdr is also great on this camera so yeah great camera with that we have come to the end of this video if you enjoyed watching this video please smash a like on the video and turn on post notification by hitting the bell uh, subscribe to the channel as always and i'll see you guys in the next video peace